the first assignment that is to draw a particular diagram using the QT creator. So let me show you first of all which particular diagram we are going to implement. OK. I'm just giving the coordinates that is 100, 100, 100 and 100. So we are going to draw a rectangle or the square because I have given the coordinate like this, then it is in the form of the square. And then we have to draw a rhombus inside that. After this, we are going to draw a circle. So basically we have to draw this kind of uh, lines, rhombus as well as the circle as an output. So for the same, we have implemented the code that what first of all, what we have to do, we have to just open after creating the project, we have to open the forms of your and then you have to consider a text label for representing the output screen, or the console screen. So I have taken a text label whose name is label. Then I have taken the three push buttons. So each and every push button is having their own respective functions on their click event. So for performing the rectangle, we have used the push button for rectangle. After clicking on this button, the rectangle will be drawn according to the uh, coordinates which we have given. So second uh, push button is for the circle and third is for the rhombus. I have taken here the four text added boxes for the values that is X1, Y1, length and breadth. I am here taking the length and breadth for the drawing rectangle and rhombus. I am not considering here the X2 and Y2 because for this we have to give again and again X1, Y1 and X2, Y2 to draw the lines for the rectangle and rhombus. So directly I am just taking here the length and breadth for respective uh, X1, Y1. We are going to use the equation for calculating all the length and breadth of the rectangle and rhombus. Okay. For the same, what we have done here in this code, we have just included the header files. These are the two basic header files which will be given there after creating your project. So we have included Q Painter, Q Image, Q Text Edit, Q Label, and Q Pix Map. Q Label is for the label, so we are just representing our output screen there, and we are using label. Text Edit is using for taking the input from the user. Q Image is for giving our uh, the uh, resolution of the screen which we are going to show as an output screen and Q pix map for plotting the pixel. OK, so we have just considered here a Q image whose object is image, the resolution of the screen and it is going to use the RGB format, which I have already explained in the earlier video. Now what we are to do, we have to draw the rectangle with the help of the DDA or Bresenheim line algorithm. You can use any one of them and then you have to draw the circle. So circle algorithm first time we are going to uh, plot here. So what we have done in the header file, we have given a circle that is a function name here void draw underscore circle in which we have given the input that is X1, Y1, length and breadth. OK, so in this way we are going to use the X1, Y1 coordinate as well as we are going to find out the length and breadth uh, to calculate the radius of the circle. So by clicking here on the right hand side refactor, we will redirect at the first uh, uh, assignment dot CPP file. So here we have to give the definition. So this is a draw circle which we have taken, uh, we have already declared there. In this, what we have to, according to the algorithm, we have studied in, just a second, the algorithm we have studied in the theory class that we have to consider the center coordinates of the circle, that is XC and YC and the radius of the circle. So to cal calculate the XC, we have just uh, written the equation that is the X1 coordinate plus length by two. So we are going to find out the center coordinate. For, with respect to Y axis, that means the breadth uh, uh, divided by two plus Y1 coordinate. So in this way, we are going to calculate the XC and YC. Okay. Now we have to calculate the radius of the circle. You can calculate radius of the circle by your own equation. I have used here length into breadth divided by two into square of length square plus breadth. Okay, length into length and breadth into breadth. So you will get the radius of the circle. 
through this. We have used here the color of the particular uh, circle is green. So you can change here if you would like to use something else. So I am using 100 or 100. So the color will be changed. So first of all, you have to initialize the zero with X and radius with R according to the algorithm. Then we have to just find out the decision parameter. We have calculated by five by four minus of R and we have to use the while uh, loop. That means X is less than equals to Y. This loop is going to be repeat uh, itself until and unless we are not getting the X value is greater than Y. OK, and this is the image dot set pixel to plot eight way symmetry for a circle. In this way, we have to plot that is y plus of x c and x plus of y c. In this way, we have to write the eight coordinates we have discussed in the classroom. Then if the decision parameter is less than zero, then we have to uh, calculate the another decision parameter. And if the decision parameter is greater than zero, we have to calculate the decision parameter with the another equation that is decision parameter equals to earlier decision parameter plus four into x minus y plus of 10. So in uh, while we are having the decision parameter is greater than zero, we have to decrement the value of y. Otherwise, in the both the condition, we have just the value of x. So I have done the x is incrementing again. OK, and then we have used the Q label for the implementation that is L1. That is the object. And we have just plotted this particular circle on the label that is we have created on the UI form. OK, now. We have used the three push buttons that is to draw the rhombus, to draw the rectangle and to draw the circle. So first of all, to, uh, we will uh, for drawing the rectangle or the rhombus, we have to implement the function uh, for the DDA line algorithm. So in the earlier, uh, we have already discussed the DDA line, the same algorithm we have used here for the implementation of DDA line. So we have used here for the implementation of DDA line. Then we have to just uh, use the push buttons for taking the inputs as well, and we have to call the functions respectively. So according to here, we have just used the first push button on which we have taken the input that is X1, Y1 and L and B. OK, so here X1, Y1, L and B input we have taken from the UI form in the form of the plain text and it is converted into the float form. Then this particular float form is assigned uh, float form value will be assigned to the variable that is X1 respectively Y1 L and B. OK, for uh, first push button, we have just used the name of the first push button is to draw the rectangle. So we have to call the function that is draw underscore rectangle and I have passed the values X1 Y1 L and B. So first of all, we have to see the draw underscore rectangle function. So the draw rectangle function we have declared here in the similar way we have to oh, sorry uh, declared in the header file and the definition will be in the CPP file. So void draw underscore rectangle float X1 Y1 float L and B the similar way draw rhombus and draw circle. OK, so uh, I have given the definition here in the CPP file draw underscore rectangle to draw the uh, rectangle in this way. So X1, Y1 and X1 is constant and Y1 plus B. That means in the breadth wise, we are increasing the Y coordinate. In the similar way, if we want to draw the vertical line, so we have to increase the X coordinate. So we have increased the X coordinate in the next line and we have remained the constant Y coordinate. In the similar way, if we want to draw the next two lines, we have to increase the X and X and Y and next time Y, X and Y. OK, in this way we can able to draw the complete lines or the rectangle. And to draw the rhombus, we have to just take the, the uh, between emit points of the length as well as of the breadth. So in the similar way, X1 again, we are going to use the DDA line algorithm itself. So I am calling the recursive function of the DDA and we have taken the X1 coordinate Y1 plus B by 2 comma X1 plus length by 2 comma Y1. So in this way, we can are going to just uh, find out the midpoints of the length and the breadth and then we are going to draw the rhombus. OK, now we have the last. Uh, uh, so in this way, the second push button will be calling the circle and third push button is going to be called the rhombus. So for the circle, we have already given the algorithm. So in the similar way, each and every push button should have to retrieve the value of X1, Y1 and length and breadth. 
then only it is going to pass through the recursive function or the while function calling. So the value will be passed here and the function will be called. In this way, we can able to implement the complete program and finally we can able to find out the implementation of the program. So we have already successfully built this program. Again, I am just trying to build it. Just need a moment. Program is successfully built. OK. So this is the uh, coordinates. This is the X coordinate that means 100 comma 100 and length I am going to take 300 width I am going to take 200. Then uh, uh, if uh, we are going to take it, the rectangle will be drawn like this. That is it is out of coordinate because we are not pro, uh, giving the coordinates in a proper way because we have given the resolution is 300 comma 300 only. So that is the boundary. So it is not plotting. So it is out of range coordinates 400 comma 300. So again, I am just getting run. So I have to show this thing. So I have taken 100, 100, and length is again, I am taking 100, or uh, length is 150, maybe I'll take, or uh, that is 100. Okay. So I am going to draw the rectangle. This is rectangle, this is rhombus, and this is the circle. You can able to observe the cursor color of the circle has been changed earlier. It was green right now. I have changed the color into some sort of the blue and uh, some sort because it is a combination of green and blue. That is why. OK, if you want to change the color of the rectangle or the rhombus, you can change it because we have uh, taken the color in that. So you can change according to yourself. Hope you have understood this thing. Thank you.